to use as energy, um, which means a lowering of, of glucose levels in the, the blood. supplement. It's like a taurine supplementation um, actually put a stop to the progress. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am naturopath Fiona Chin, co-founder of Kidney Coach and co-author of the Kidney Disease Solution. And I'm joined today by the amazing Emily Carhill. Why don't we start by talking about what taurine is? Um, and yeah, you start there and then we'll we'll just, we'll go through and see what comes up. <laughs> okay. So taurine is, um, is an amino acid. It's classified as a semi-essential amino acid, which means that uh, we get it from food, but we can also um, make it from some of our other amino acids in the body. Um, and it's got a lot of benefits and a lot of use when it comes to cardiovascular disease um, and diabetes. And I guess that sort of flows on to why it can be beneficial for, for kidney disease as well. But I guess some of its main actions are that it's an antioxidant. Um, and hopefully you've watched some of our other videos and you know why we love antioxidants and how beneficial they are for kidney disease, cardiovascular disease, um, pretty much most chronic health conditions. Um, it can help to lower cholesterol, can help to lower blood pressure, um, actually can reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Um, it's got actions of improving insulin sensitivity and in, um, increasing insulin secretion. So it can be beneficial for blood sugar levels. And one of the things that I really like touring for um, is its uh, role with stress. Um, so it is sort of <coughs> considered an inhibitory um, amino acid. And so what I mean by that is that it can help with uh, dampening, I guess, down stress levels and increase some of our neurotransmitters that are really important for relaxation. Um, so things like GABA and can also help with reducing adrenaline. So um, which you might know as epinephrine. Um, so adrenaline and noradrenaline or epinephrine and norepinephrine are um, secreted in times of stress. Um, they've got a number of different actions in the body, but they can do things like increase blood pressure because it causes our blood vessels to constrict, makes your heart go really fast, can give you the tremors a little bit. So um, taurine can help with reducing um, sort of those, you know, physical, I guess, signs of stress as well in the body. So do you want to talk about, because um, it is so amazing, it's got... Um, so many um, specific mechanisms in the cardiovascular system, which is that blood pressure. But do you want to talk about how it works with diabetes? Because the studies on that were actually really cool with how taurine and um, diabetes went together and how that works. Yeah, so um, taurine can help with the secretion of insulin from the pancreas. So um, what can happen in diabetes is the body isn't producing enough insulin in some instances. Sometimes it's producing too much, but it helps with that. And also for the cells to be more insulin sensitive, which means that um, if the cells are insulin sensitive, then they are more able to take up glucose from the bloodstream into the cells to use as energy, um, which means a lowering of, of glucose levels in the, the blood as well. But it's also really protective against some of the common complications that we see that can be associated with diabetes. So kidney disease being one of them, so diabetic um, nephropathy, but also things like cataracts, retinopathy, um, neuropathy, so damage to our um, nerves. So people can get numbness or tingling and things like that. Um, uh, cardiomyopathy, so uh, enlargement of the heart, and um, also uh, plaque in our blood vessels as well. So it's, yeah, I probably didn't realise how protective taurine was for, um, for diabetic complications. Um, and what we know is that similar to people with kidney disease, but people with diabetes generally have lower levels of taurine when it's tested in the blood as well. Yeah, that was a big thing. Yeah, I'm a bit like you. I mean, someone asked me to research it. I um, I obviously know about taurine for the nervous system and cardiovascular. I didn't realize, like you, just how amazing it was at diabetes. In fact, some of the studies showed that taurine supplement, it's like a taurine supplementation, um, actually put a stop to the progress um, that proceeds with late on stage diabetes, meaning it prevented diabetes from manifesting altogether which I think is amazing. Like, you know, if potentially if taurine is a mechanism behind 
the onset of diabetes for someone that making sure that you've got adequate levels, uh, plasma levels of taurine can stop diabetes from manifesting. If you've got it running in your family, if you've got, um, you know, you've not been eating a great diet and things like that, that was, yeah, that was, that one blew my mind. And just, um, they tested people that um, develop late stage diabetes and they all had very low plasma levels of taurine. So they were taurine deficient. And again, we've spoken in previous videos where we can't just go correlation cause, but, um, and so we can't say taurine deficiency causes diabetes. It's not how it works, but there's definitely a correlation between low plasma levels and potentially the development of um, uh, late on stage diabetes. And then if you get your taurine levels up, if you know potentially that's something that may happen, you can actually circumvent the actual onset of diabetes, which I just find really amazing. So Turing, Turing gets a full thumbs up for that, <laughs> for that action. Um, what else? And so yeah, the big ways that Turing works in diabetes is as an osmo regulator. So it means it counteracts um, the osmotic imbalances through the cellular membranes. So what happens in, and you may be able to explain this better than me, Emily, but in hyperglycemia, the blood sugars uh, change the way the ions move through uh, the cellular membranes and the kidneys, meaning um, blood fluid, uh, blood fluid, fluid levels aren't uh, regulated as properly. That's what osmoregulation is. It's the movement of ions, sodium, potassium, uh, magnesium, and chloride in and out of the cells. And so um, that's why we get potassium imbalances and things like that in kidney disease. So taurine actually helps to facilitate the healthy movement of ions in and out of the cells by um, protecting that um, cellular membrane. It's a massive antioxidant, which Emily said, and as you know, we uh, antioxidant pro uh, because antioxidants are anti-inflammatory and they protect the cells. Taurine is also anti-inflammatory. So it interferes with the formulation of inflammatory mediators, which are the cytokines that come in chronic disease. So again, Emily and I often talk about anti-inflammatory antioxidants. They're like the two key things in most chronic diseases, but especially kidney disease. And if you can get a handle of those, you'll help uh, slow the progression. So Turing does both of those. And um, again, it's also glucose uh, homeostasis. So it interferes with the insulin signaling pathway um, and helps just to balance those blood sugar levels. So it's really very amazing. And hopefully you found this information useful. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you pop them in the links below, in the comment section below, and I will get to them. Um, and remember to hit subscribe because if you hit subscribe anytime Emily and I put out new content, you'll get notified about that. If you want any more information about the kidney disease solution, head over to www.kidneycoach.com and there you'll find everything that we're all about there. If you need to email us or if you're doing the kidney disease solution and you're now thinking about adding taurine into your protocol and you want to know if it's safe with medications, you can hit us up at support at kidneycoach.com and Emily or the amazing Rachel, who's also a fully qualified naturopath, someone will get back to you and answer those questions for you. Emily, thank you again for your time today. Thank you everyone for watching and being part of our community. We really uh, value and cherish you. If you like the video, give us a like and we will see you next time.